Guys, we're pretty much done. I did a lot of cleaning today. Nothing too exciting to show you guys. You've cleaned a car before. Anyways, this cover is gonna be for driving into SEMA, so I'm gonna cut the window to be visible and cut this. It's just like a cheapest one I could get at Walmart, and then cut that window so then I could see out the mirrors and the wind, oh, excuse me, the windshield for the most part. And then we can drive into SEMA so that you can't really see it if you're someone else delivering a car or whatever or other people can't get it on their story so it's still hidden and then we will put the Batmobile cover on right after we kind of park it in their booth but it's gonna be quite the process because it's gonna want to pull the cover under the whole time so we're gonna have to like tape it out of the way of the wheel and Renee will probably be like walking next to it the whole time like, oh, stop 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 <laughs> <laughs> but like I think we can make we'll test it out tomorrow to make sure we got it down and then we'll just have a cover on it. We're doing what we can. It's not foolproof, but Yeah, someone will see part of it as we like swap covers and I can't get it in and out of the trailer with a bumper on it, so I don't know. We just gotta be cautious. Yeah, it has to ride in the trailer with a freaking cover on it. And then this one we're gonna clean it up tomorrow, but we're pretty much done with it. We got this new vent mounted really nice with PTP, the white wrap for the dump tubes and then, oh, I need another helping hand. Renee, lend a hand. We still need to clean up a little bit in the engine bay, but I still think that this will be a good thing for SEMA booth. It's not the same as that one, but it's still pretty clean. I like the way it looked. Baby Blue's big appearance. Good job, Baby Blue. We decided he did good this like year. Oh yeah, it's a spoiled child, like the younger child that's spoiled. Cause Big Blue did all the groundbreaking work and then Baby Blue's like, oh I got I got built into a practice car. Let me step in for FD for one round. Like I just got lucky to do that. Oh, I'll go to SEMA the first 12 months that I've been built into a practice vehicle. It's like, hey, what the heck? It's not fair. Big Blue had to work many years to get there. It's only a second appearance. Okay, well we will Probably show you guys tomorrow and then we'll do the roll in at SEMA because we'll have to video some of that. It's gonna be funny with this. <laughs> Alright, see you later, guys. Oh, hey, since it's getting cold, you need one of these sweatshirts. Hurry up and buy! This one is my shop one, but I wanted to keep wearing my sweatshirt, so this one was sacrificed to the shop. Then I have like a normal going out of the shop one that's clean. That's, that's what you guys should get. Alright, see you guys. There it is, we're rolling into SEMA like that. We even brought in the big guns, Dylan Hughes is here. There it is, the release 2020 livery, that's it. That's it, just like a flat gray with a little bit of wrinkle on it. <laughs> Random blue tape marks. Yeah, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but we're gonna load them in the trailer and then leave. One eternity later. All right guys, we're ugh, whoa, stretching. We made it to SEMA, we're outside. It's all kinds of mayhem happening. Oh, Renee. And we need to, I need the key for the trailer, but we need to unload both cars because they brought us to the wrong place. Wouldn't let us take the main car out to bring it to gear end booth and told us, no, go over there. And we're like, no, we need to be here. You're not gonna be able to unload, so we weren't allowed to unload where we want to. And so now we're gonna get stuck taking out one car to get the other car. And then maybe just drive. Big blue over, I don't know. We'll find out. It'd be easier to drive a car even though there's a cover on it to the other spot, but we'll find out. There you go, Renee. That's a wing, boys. He's got a super big party in the back. Yep, look at all this party going on back here. Woo! 
licks? Man. It's a cool car. Truck. It's a truck, guys. This is actually just like, oh, it's got a, it's not a Winters, but it's got a quick change. Speedway quick change. Oh, everything's so machine-like. Uh, probably, I don't know, maybe a dog box? If we could see, it might be automatic though. Let's ask him when we see him. Oh, that's like the world's shortest drive shaft. Okay, so this is where we're supposed to be with ETP. Well, we will be, but as of right now, can't get in because we got so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so on all these aisles that don't want to undo their boxes and finish setting up their, their booth, so we will wait. And then for Big Blue and Gear Wrench, we got a little bit of waiting to do as well. Such a cool car, or truck, sorry. Don't mean to keep calling it a car. Check out this side pipe. And the compound turbo, man, cool, cool, cool. Well, I'm thinking like three hours before we can get in here longer. Endless amount of everything. All right, we'll go back to the cars. Guys, we're in the tool hall, the north hall, where everything happens, or all of SEMA stuff is happening. So, didn't bring the car in yet, we had a chance to, but then we were pushing the NASCAR in, and they needed help, so I was, I pushed a car too in my day, so I helped out real quick, and then um, after that, I'm gonna go wait with the car for the next available opportunity to get in, so that's where we're headed now. Uh, but we're at door 21 now, so we're over here. And then... If you wanna see someone yell at you, just walk through that doorway. Power walk? Should we get yelled at, guys? <laughs> it's pretty funny. We're heading into the commotion. If you were that bad, you make me. Yeah, you ain't that fucking oh. bad. Got serious over here. Well, I gotta go to my car. Glass doors. Oh. Glass doors. Glass doors. You can't walk here. through here. She over here doing her job. I got yelled at, guys. I'm going this way. No running. Okay. We did it. I heard wench at one point. I don't know if that's still a word, but I heard it. Pretty cool, guys. Cover it without anyone seeing. Most people are gone right now, but even like trying to clean it, you're kind of cleaning it as Dan's lifting the cover. But yeah, thought I'd share with you guys what goes into it. Whoa, look at all the Supra shoes. Okay, focus here, people. What number comes between two and four? 25. Half an hour, and we go over to Gear Wrench and do the unveil right now. We're gonna walk around, see a couple more sponsor booth, say hi to some of our partners, and then head over that way, and we will have it on film, and we will show you guys. What is this? Here's the gear wrench booth. We're half an hour away from unveiling. Ooh, I know that guy. Find the Supra. It's waiting. It's waiting. There we go. We'll show you guys later, but here we are. All right, guys, I'm Rad Dan. We're here at Gear Wrench, and we're going to do the unveil of the Supra. I'd like to welcome all you guys. Thanks for coming to watch. And I'm going to hand the microphone over to Kurt. He's going to say a couple words, and I'll say a couple words, and then we'll unveil the Supra. Thanks, Rad Dan. Uh, yeah, so this is our second year with uh, Rad Industries. We had a great partnership last year, and uh, things about Dan. Dan is a really authentic, down-to-earth, super cool guy. He's somebody that we just love. He's got great presence. He's a great driver. But more importantly, he uses tools himself. He actually uses his know-how and his skills to make his car go better and his team. And he's just really enjoyable to hang out with. And uh, that's, that's, that's all I got to say about that. I can't say enough good things about him and his team. So we're really happy. And I'm going to give the mic back to Dan and take it away. All right, guys, this is a huge moment for me. Many years in the making to be here right here. I, I just can't believe it's happening. And with such a great brand, Gear Wrench Tools, I can't wait to represent them and promote them in the 2020 season more so than we have this year. A couple things about this partnership that are so cool to me is that 
I have their tools in my hand almost every day on a daily basis, maybe. There's this odd Sunday I'm not working on a car, but you guys know I'm always working on the cars and I've had Gearhunt's tools in my toolbox since I was 18 years old. So to be here in their booth and have a big giant Gearhunt's logo on the hood of the car, oh my gosh, this is such a big moment for us and for Rad Industries and the team. So after we do the unveil, get in here and check out what they have to offer, a lot of great tools. One other thing with this partnership with Gearhunt's for the 2020 season, it's going to give us the ability to focus deeper onto our program, which we're really excited about, and stay competitive in the ever-evolving um, Formula Drift field. We couldn't be more happy to be here with Gear Ranch today. Okay, so we're going to unveil the car in about two seconds, but for those of you who are here at the SEMA show, Rad Dan and Kurt Busch tomorrow at 10 o'clock to noon are going to be signing autographs around their respective cars. So please take the time to come back and see these two amazing drivers, spend some time with them, and uh, get a John Hancock and have some fun. So You guys ready? Okay, go. <laughs> what do you guys think? I don't know. Guys, day two, see my happening right now. Oh, you can hear Jared DeAnda's voice in the background, Formula Drift announcer. He's doing the Ford out front stuff. So I'm heading over back to the Supra Gear Wrench booth to do a couple new product reviews on some tools and a couple new things that they had come out. So we'll do that for Instagram and then. Maybe I'll get some of it on this camera, or if not, maybe they'll send some of that stuff over to the shop and then I can show you guys again um, at the shop. There's a lot of cool new things they came out with this year. Can't wait to use it. And So, we had a really good unveil yesterday, and then walked around, met up with some of our other partners, then went out to Nexon, little party Nexon had, and Nexon Tire, and then we had another party with Gear Ranch. It's been a really cool SEMA experience so far this year, and we're only on day two, so a lot of more exciting stuff. I'll try and get time to get cover some of the cars that you know, the really cool cars that are here and show you guys more in depth. So, let's keep going, guys. Day three here at SEMA, and I got distracted when I saw a monster truck. It's maybe not the one that I like the best for the body, but let's look underneath the body and just look at some of the mechanical stuff of this. Look at how big each runner on the header is on that. Think about, hey, if there wasn't drifting, what would you drive? I want to drive monster trucks. So freaking cool. Just launch it off a jump. Send it as hard as you can. I could do it. All right. Um, we gotta get. We gotta be serious now because we're making our rounds, people. Everything serious, right? Yes. Okay. Talk to you soon. I found a Supra. This is the only other one I've seen that's a Mark IV Supra. You're thinking Mark V's like that one? There's literally 50 of them. There's, in every other booth, there's a Mark V. Oh look, there's another one over there. They're everywhere. <laughs> now we're gonna head outside and see what we find out there. This stuff isn't like mainstream for what we're into, so we just kind of pass them through quickly. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that. It has like, oh, that one they messed up on that one. How did I find one that there's a mess up on it? But look. <laughs> of all the ones I point to, there's like a messed up part of the pattern. Anyways, they need to make race helmets like this. With like all the different kind of. How do they have this like that too? Well, that just got cut out. With like a CNC. Ooh, cool. Cool details. Okay, we're going to find the outside. What's that place called over there? That's number 59. Ooh, a transformer thing. Ah. There's a, a Zupra near the Supra, but 
What I want to look at is the Supra. Walking through, oh, another Supra! We're back in the gear wrench booth. People are coming to check out the car. It's just doing what it's doing over here. And then CJ was having me do a little product review on a couple of the products that Gear Ranch is coming out with this year. Here's a cool one, it's called the Bolt Biter. But I can show you all these products that I was doing reviews on back at the shop because we're gonna, well, the Bolt Biter I already have at the shop. I'll kind of show you, share that with you guys. Another really cool one is this new X-Core. It's the pinless X-Core drive system that they came out with. So it's like the swivel head, but it doesn't have a pin in it, so you can't jam it up. There's no way to jam it up, which happens with the pin, the pin system. And they even have like sockets, they have adapters, they have extensions with no socket on it. That's really cool. Um, they came out with a new 120 XP torque wrench. It's even newer than the one that I was so excited about. And that, which is over here, it has a digital readout. So they have this. I'm gonna, later, I'm sure we'll get to get one at the shop and then I'll kind of like give you a rundown with it when we're there. Um, and then another cool little track, well, they don't call it a track box, but when I first saw it, I was like, that is like the most portable track box you could ever ask for. It has half inch drive and then all the sockets in metric and standard. Has a little bit of Allen keys. Then you have your 3 8 ratchet up there. Then you have quarter inch drive, full set, a little bit of extended sockets and then normal size sockets. You have a set of wrenches down here and then you have your 3 8 stuff under this cardboard here in both standard metric and both short and extended. There's obviously you can always have more tools but the cool thing about this is it weighs 48 and a half pounds and you can take it on to like as your luggage if you had to on an airplane and or you could just put it in the passenger seat and go to the track with it. So there might be like the odd thing you also need to bring like a torque wrench or a couple other things but that'll be like most everything you need right there. So I thought that was a really cool new product. Um, maybe we'll get one of those back at the shop and I can go in more detail. Or you can go check it out on Amazon and they're, I think they're less than $300 on Amazon right now. So that's like a really good deal for all of the stuff you get. Um, we're gonna go do more stuff, but I just wanted to share Gear Wrench's booth with you before SEMA's over and I forget because there's a lot happening and I forget to film the whole time because it's just a lot of exciting stuff happening. All right, we gotta go do more stuff. Oh man, tire stuff. Doesn't smell like next and rubber. So if Corey's breathing in this much smoke all day, every day, can't be good. We think Renee should come out here with uh, baby blue and do some stuff in the burn yard. Maybe back home we can get Renee to do it. Alright guys, we're leaving the burnout box. Until next time, burn yard. Now we go back through SEMA for our last little bit. If I see something exciting, I'll film it and then we'll be at SEMA Ignited before you know it. Okay, right here at SEMA Ignited. Look, that guy has a mullet. <laughs> she doesn't have a mullet. So check out all the drift cars. There's like eight cool ones. Oh, Aaron's here. And then Forrest brought three of them. I might have brought two. Um, so what's gonna happen is I'll be driving Baby Blue. He might take some cool pictures and then Renee's gonna have the camera and she'll video from maybe over in the stand or something. And then we got some GoPro stuff for you guys. Should be fun, I haven't got to do this yet, but I'm gonna pass the camera over to Renee and we're gonna start in like 20 minutes. I gotta suit up, gotta wear a helmet. It's full legit, guys. All right. Hey That's my guys, fan number one. Ignited. Keep the noise going for these guys. Javier, the other side lightning. We're watching some Matt right now. The side. We're just getting warmed up. Here comes Adam Jones. Yo, those yoga lessons are working out, homie. Did you see how far? That is a big old whip, man. Thread in the needle who had that Nitro Circus ramp in the world. Okay, Check so you don't see that every day. .com, .com, you tell Rick, what Mike do you think? MikeRyanMotorsports.com <laughs>
Oh, so it looks like fun. I know. He's loving it. You'll get to soon. It looks like you was having fun. Woo! Hey, it's full. Good job, baby blue. Hi, Dan. Are you having fun? This is so much fun. Did you guys get to watch? It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna back it closer to this one. Okay. Okay. Um, so the night's over, Farouk blew his motor up and like spit a bunch of rods in the crank out of the motor, spilled oil, caught his car on fire, and it ended our night a session early, which sucks, but that's what happened. We were about to go, it was gonna be fun. We were gonna go with Forrest, but then me and Forrest were about to run and then the night was ended early. We're both sad. And we lost a whole session. <laughs> hey, but he has a YouTube channel too, so. Okay, I'll figure it out and I'll put it right here. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> we got Carl all the way out from NZ. Hey, guys. And um, he's got a lot to say. <laughs> Not on camera. <laughs> he's got the camo, though. You Not can't on... see me, bro. Not on camera, but he's got a really sure. cool car over there. And Travis the reader. reader. <laughs> yeah. But we didn't get as much driving in as we want, and Reader didn't bring his car, and neither did any of the huges, so maybe next time. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Hey, Jan.